Well, the Metro News, a local newspaper free at the uh, transit, uh, did a story on Charlie Sheen and his request for a meeting with President Obama. And it's not too unfair, so let's read it and see what it says. Actor Charlie Sheen is known for nowadays for his funny bone on TV show Two and a Half Men. But off-screen, Sheen's got a serious bone to pick with 9-11 and what most people think was behind it, PopEater.com reports. So much, in fact, that he's demanding a meeting with U.S. President Barack Obama to discuss his views. Sheen, who believes that the September terror attacks were carried out by the U.S. government, and I have to say that he didn't say that in his letter at all. Uh, he's asking questions of what happened. He's not asking or accusing anyone there. Um, <clears throat> Sheen, who believes that the September 11th terror attacks were carried out by the U.S. government, gave an interview to PrisonPlanet.com in the form of a fictional conversation he'd like to have with Obama. In it, Sheen, a self-proclaimed 9-11 truther, a conspiracy group that doubts the official reports on the terrorist attacks, declared that the official 911 story is a fraud. 911 has been the pretext for systematic dismantling of our Constitution and Bill of Rights. Your administration is reading from the same playbook that the Bush administration foisted upon America through the documented secrecy and deception. He went on to say that former U.S. President George Bush used to use the attacks in a way to create a war with Iraq. In the interview, Sheen said that there's a bottomless warren of unanswered questions surrounding that day and the aftermath, referencing the John F. Kennedy assassination and the Gulf of Tonkin incident as other conspiracy talking points. So, it's made the newspaper here. It's on the, I guess it's page... 21 it looks like and the most important thing was the cover I guess <coughs> uh, football player charged with sexual assault won't read that South African runner has male female sex organs so there you go there's titillating news for you that's important I guess more important than finding out who caused 9-11 and that a terrorist attack which the FBI has yet to charge Osama bin Laden with doing Mercer on the front, who used to be one of the good guys to watch on TV, but it turns out that although he talks a big talk, he's in there for the comedy angle, and uh, this is a guy who actually said, let's get the queen off our money and be a real country at one point, but seems to uh, not confront that angle too often. So, Charlie Sheen, big props out, man, big brave guy to do that.